Welcome back to another episode of Recruiter Fuel. This whole series has been talking to recruiters and sourcers about real situations, situations that as recruiters you and I probably face on a, on a daily basis. And I've got somebody new with me today, Michelle. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. So you've been in this space of recruiting and research and sourcing for how long? About four years. So you've been with us for the entire time. Mm -hmm. Learning experience? A ton. I mean, I've learned about how businesses operate. I've learned about different roles companies need to fill. Yep. A lot of good information. So we were talking about a situation that you and I were both involved in where there was a client who had expectations that were a bit out of sync. Yes. Tell us about what happened. We had a client who basically had a hybrid role. They wanted to fill a role to do two positions in one, and they wanted it to be located kind of in a regional office. Connecticut. Connecticut. And in fact, what we discovered as we did our research and talking with people, the position actually is generally two roles and held in the corporate locations. So there weren't a lot of people in Connecticut. Okay, so the client's looking for X mm -hmm. and Y put together. Mm -hmm. First we realize that it's X and Y put together and that probably doesn't exist. Correct. And then the other issue is they want them in a specific area of Connecticut, but they don't exist there. Right. So what'd you do? We searched their market high and low looked at all their competitors, and in the end, we had a nice discussion with them about where the people are located and where we could find the talent they needed. Where were they located, ba based on your recollection? Uh, Texas, okay. California, West Coast especially, a okay. lot in the West Coast. Financial services related? Yes. Yeah, okay. So basically, we gave them some good counsel about what we, we had uncovered in the market, in their market, in other markets, and in the end, we were able to get them the right candidate by helping them change their expectations a little bit. So the reality of it is in recruiting, sourcing, research, we can't create what's not there. That is correct. But we can find what's there. Correct. And this is one of those situations where the client had to realize that that doesn't exist. Exactly. How, how did they respond when you told them that? At first, they were a little indecisive and thought that we were just trying to do it our way versus doing what was best for them. But when they realized that it really wasn't there and the only way they were going to fill the desperately needed role to fill was to look other places. They were happy and in the end they were happy with the candidate we got them. So the real data showed what you were just yes. talking about. They weren't there, they were somewhere else and they were two positions tied into one. So being honest about the data and showing the data is ultimately what you ended up doing. Correct. We find a lot of times people think everyone does it the way their company does it and they run it in the same locations in the same areas and in fact Every company's different. Okay, so running a team in research, if you had to talk to the recruiters that are watching you here, what's the one or two bits of, of advice you'd give them based on that particular scenario from the research or sourcing perspective? Collect multiple points of data before yeah. you commit to saying something exists or doesn't exist. Got it. And be a good counselor to your client. Give them the honest of what's going on. Tell them exactly what's happening. Exactly. Thank you, Michelle, again for your time today. Thank you for having me. This has been another episode of Recruiter Fuel. Catch up with us next time when we'll continue this discussion around real circumstances with recruiters and sourcers.